Hey, what's up guys? Wild one. It's your boy Meg Titan here again. Um today I was meant to release a video for the testing of my latest uh model vehicle gears. But um I was like, wait, how could I just waste such technology on a four by four? I decided to go for something bigger, a six by six. Now in this in this video today I'm going to be showing you uh uh, six wheel drive vehicle it's more of a crawler but it's it's real powerful oh guys um this is the six by six uh I like to call it a crawler and I think I'll name this one Euler press but that that doesn't matter um this as you can see I salvaged some wheels from the four by four gears I'll leave a link in the description to the video well, I saw some wheels from it that which was already half painted. That's why it looks kind of shabby. And then I made three extra wheels, and um, you can see some driver driver gears in between each two wheels. Now this is the basic idea. This is why I so much love this vehicle and the previous vehicle. Well, this is the basic idea. If you if you understand the principle of gears, you're going to agree with me that um, if a smaller gear is rotating a bigger gear, like if a smaller gear, the driver gear is smaller than the driven gear, you're going to get a lot of mechanical advantage, although the velocity ratio will be less, and uh, but it's going to give you a lot of torque. So the bigger your driven gear and the smaller your driver gear the more powerful your vehicle is so that's just basically what I applied here I used the driver gear of a diameter 5 centimeters and a driven gear of diameter 18 centimeters to give me as much torque as possible and uh, <laughs> obviously this is this is one of the most powerful vehicles I've ever built if you ask me well, I gotta say, it's, it can tackle obstacles up to 10 centimeters, and uh, on various conditions, it can it can reach 14 centimeter obstacles. I mean, this is this is real nice. Um, I do have to say, this is not the original design for the crawler. I'll I'll show you I'll show you two pictures of the original design. pictures I showed you that one would be real rad but uh, the problem with that one is <laughs> I wanted to test the vehicle outside and um, unfortunately the dog thought it was something you know unfamiliar and I don't want to explain what happened so I just took the parts and uh, made this guy so uh, that's basically it uh, I'm running this off a uh, 12 volt battery for now, but that's before I get my radio control transmitter and receiver. Uh, it, this can actually work on 5 volts. Yeah, it has a range from 5 volts to 20 volts. Uh, above that, I think the motors will get too hot and burn out. I mean, I burnt out the motor that bought this gearbox over here. If I opened up this box, you would see what I'm trying to say. Yeah, so I just loosened up the, the four screws that hold the top and the inside is not as cool as the outside, but I think it'll do besides I'm not it's it's not actually for anybody or stuff. Now um if you notice compared to the size of this vehicle the drive motors are very small. So, the the torque the torque aspect of this motor is uh, as a result of the increase in driven gear and you know decrease in the size of driver gear and stuff. So um, I'm going to stop here. I'll just round up the video with a few clips, and in the next video we'll probably be testing this out to know the maximum capabilities and stuff.
No, 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 no,